Hey everyone, this is Sean with Sean Lara Photography, and today I'm going to show you how I shot and edited this photo. This is part one of a series of videos I'm going to be releasing, so make sure you uh, stay tuned and follow my YouTube channel so you can see more. So, this photo, I shot this um, of David and Nicole here in Antelope Canyon in Arizona. It, Arizona, excuse me. Um, it's one of those uh, very famous slot canyons that's quite challenging to get to, not because they're hard to find, but because you have to get permits and you have to hire a guide. It's all privately owned land. So, um, like I said, it's, it's such a hassle to actually be able to shoot in these canyons and not only shoot in them, but take photos without any people in them. So. Um, Besides that whole process, if you guys ever want to go and do a shoot there, it's it's absolutely a blast. Just make sure you're prepared and you get all the necessary paperwork and everything. So I'm going to show you how I shot this. Um, we took these guys down into the canyon and I wanted to really replicate the, the light coming down in on them. Um, when I tried shooting this in natural light, the, the photos were just hazy. I wasn't getting enough contrast in my shot, so I really wanted to bring in some light, uh, some off-camera light to be exact, to replicate them uh, kind of looking up at the sun. Now, for this shot, I used a Magmod Mag Sphere. It's kind of a diffusion sphere that I threw onto my Godox speed light. And then what I also had, it was had the uh, the guy that we had with us hold it pretty much right above their head so it kind of looked again like the sun was just coming right down on them shining a beam of light. So I'm going to show you the raw image and then that'll give you a little bit better of an idea of what it looks like. So here it is. Here's the mag sphere. This is the raw image straight out of the camera. So I'm going to show you how I edited it now. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of this obviously because we don't want it in the photo and then there's a couple other distracting elements here that um, I just kind of want to get rid of a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and first open this into Photoshop. I prefer whenever I'm cloning things out that I uh, do it that way. It just makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to go ahead and open this in Photoshop. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the uh, lasso tool, but first I'm going to just zoom in a little bit to make it a little easier on myself. I'm just going to circle this little mag sphere here, control, delete or shift delete actually if you're on a Mac and that did a pretty good job I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit but first before I do that I'm gonna go to the uh, spot healing brush tool bring down my brush a little bit and just get rid of this whole thing and uh, the first time I did this I spent quite a bit of time on it um, and I'm not gonna make it perfect just because this is just for demonstration purposes only I'm gonna clean that up a little bit as well I'm gonna go to the uh, healing brush tool and just kind of make those lines a little bit more uniform. Again, not going to spend too much time on this because you guys get the idea. Awesome. Okay, going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of this little dot right here. To me, it's just distracting. And then I'm going to get rid of that as well. So I'm actually just going to, uh, again, use my lasso tool and uh, content aware that again. Perfect. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it. And then once I save it, it'll automatically bring the new version edited in Lightroom. So here we go. So here's my original before I brought it into Photoshop. And here is the edited version. All right. So now I'm going to make my adjustments to the photos, make it pop a little bit better and match it to my uh, personal taste, my personal style a little bit better. So first thing I'm going to do is bring up the exposure. I'm thinking uh, probably about three quarters of a stop up. So now it's exposed the way I want it. I personally really like contrasty images, so I'm actually going to bring up the contrast a little bit, darken those blacks as well, just to kind of add to that. Uh, maybe a little too contrasty for my taste, so I'm just going to bring it down a tad. Really want to um, get rid of some of this haze a little bit, so I'm actually going to play with this dehaze slider, see what that looks like. Yeah, I really like that. I'm going to maybe add 20 points to that, going to bring down some of that haze. Also going to bring up the vibrance, try to bring up some of the colors in the rocks a little bit. Maybe play with the shadows tab just to bring a little bit more detail in the shadows. Yeah, like that. And what I'm also going to try is um, go into my saturation tab right here and uh, kind of playing with some of these colors. And again, this is all experimental. This isn't necessarily what I do for every photo or what I would do for every photo in this particular uh, session. but. 
I just like to play with some of these sliders until I get a result that I really like. So last thing I want to do is I find this still a little bit distracting, so I'm gonna do two things to get rid of that. I'm gonna first crop it down just a tad. And then what I'm also gonna do is kinda manually vignette these, uh, these corners right here just to make those a little bit less prominent. So what I'll actually do is go to my uh, paintbrush tool here and um, I think I'll bring down my exposure probably it's eh, about half a stop and then uh, bring my dehaze slider up a little bit more and then bring my blacks down and what I'm gonna do is just make this paintbrush a little smaller make sure my flow is good about halfway and just kind of brush these down a little bit just these sides right here actually gonna bring it down a little bit more all right, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, well, actually, you know, one more thing I can do. I shot this on D3S, slightly older body, still an amazing uh, camera, but um, even at 2000 ISO, I'm getting a little bit of noise here, so what I'll probably actually do is um, go down to my luminance tab right here, the noise reduction, and just kind of get rid of some of that noise. So there's after, there's before, after, before. So about 30 points is, I think, where I want to be at. And uh, again, when you use the luminance tool, you are gonna be softening the image just a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind. But the nice thing about this particular shot is because it's shot so wide, shot with a 16 to 35 at 16 millimeters, um, you don't really, you're not really, you know, zooming in on someone's eyes that much. So you don't really need that sharpness. But there you have it. Uh, it's ready to export, put it in my portfolio, deliver to the client, whatever I need to do with it. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and how I shot it. If you guys have any questions, please uh, comment in the YouTube section of this video or uh, wherever I post it on Facebook. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.